Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? Right. My name is Henry Steiner, and I am the health inspector. But, uh, um, y you're not due to arrive until tomorrow. They fall for it every time. Um, this is highly irregular. We're not ready. You're supposed to be always ready. Let's see what your boss has to say. No, wait. <laughs> I'm sure it's all right. Um, come to the door at the side and I'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. The Sisters of Mercy welcome you, Mr. Steiner. You're in luck. We're just about to run a batch. My assistant, Sister Serena, will give you the tour. The complete tour, I hope? No exceptions? Of course. Follow me, please. I'd better keep Herr Steiner going till I can find a way through this place and into the monastery. This factory has been the center of wafer production in Rome for nearly 80 years now. In 2000, we decided to automate the process, hence the Communion Companion 5XLI. The Communion Companion 5XLI? Why, yes. Carry on. This machine has revolutionized our wafer production process and maximized output. First, the wafer ingredients are fed into the mixer to make the dough. The dough is then fed along the conveyor and into the cutter. From the cutter, the biscuits are... Stop! Oh. You said biscuits. I mean wafers. Yes, you do. Carry on. Oh. Anyway, the wafers are transferred to the ovens for baking. From the oven, they are cooled in the fresh air. Then the wafers are packed, ready for delivery all over the globe. Thank you for visiting the Sisters of Mercy and enjoy your stay in our beautiful city. area. Would you eat your dinner off it? Certainly not. Aha! Not clean enough, eh? No, of course not. It's for wafers. But would you lick it? Mr. Steiner, lick it? Yes, sister. Lick it. Would you? No. Very good. Outrage 9 out of 10. Excellent score. These ovens. Do you ever cook pizza in the... What? I just found them. I would, if I were you. Well, we don't. They are for the holy wafers, not pizzas. Good answer to a trick question. Never drop your guard, sister. These cutters, what precisely is your cut-to-death ratio? What? The relationship between cutter operation aggregates and notifiable fatalities. Oh. Um... Are the cutters safe? Oh, yes, they're safe. They're safe? Very safe. Are they safe? Um... Well... No? No? No, they're not safe. They're not safe? No. They're dangerous. Dangerous? Very dangerous. So they are not safe? No, they're not safe. Not safe at all. I see. But are they... Yes, they're very safe. They are safe? Oh, yes. Very, very safe. Good. Simple question, simple answer. That's all I needed. And how are the mixing vats cleaned? Oh, you're like this. 
Every week we hold a competition and the winning nun gets to climb in with a scara. Hmm, what wholesome fun that must be. So how does this place connect to the Holy Order? Oh, the factory backs onto the Holy Order's grounds. This building is just used for wafer production. So can monks from the Order come in here? Monks? Heavens no. We are very strict about visitors. The only people allowed in here are cardinals and bishops, and nuns, of course. We have a strict cleanliness policy. So how do you enter the Holy Order from here? There is just one exit, via the rear entrance. But Sister Angelica keeps a careful watch on the door. You never know who might walk in. Yes, good thinking. Cleanliness must never let down its guard. Okay, thanks, Sister. Please, that's sensitive machinery. Only Sister Angelica may touch the holy machine. And besides, you're not wearing your protective gloves. Aha! Very good. You're familiar with the Holy Cleanliness Handbook, I see. Oh, yes, sir. I have a copy of it next to my bed. Really? You do? Uh, I mean, a gold star for you, my dear. Now, why can I not touch the machine without gloves? Because you'd get the machine dirty. True. But really, it's to avoid catching the parasites which inhabit the flower in the door. Yuck! Is that the truth? My dear sister, who is the expert? You are, Mr. Stein, sir. Don't touch those, Mr. Steiner. Oh, what are they for? You never know when a church might run dry of wafers or wine. But surely they should be prepared for the communion. Anything can happen. Flash flooding, fires. Acts of God. Exactly. That pile of boxes is a health hazard. All it needs is one person to knock them over, and there'll be wasted wafers everywhere. Please, make sure they're safe. Of course. I'll check them now. Serene is tidying the boxes. She's not interested in me for the moment. The box is firmly taped down. I'm not going to be able to open it quietly that way. that I was just testing you. Thank goodness. If I ruined a whole batch, I'd be exiled to some distant diocese for life. Let contamination be your enemy, sister. somewhere, Mr. Steiner. Double-check everything. That's my motto. Not down there, I'm afraid. Papal permission is required to enter the monastery. Not even the Pope himself can stand in the way of health and safety. I think you'll find he can. Goodbye. Oh, God, if I could only get rid of her. still won't do. Look how easily I can tip the boxes over. I'm sorry, Mr. Steiner. I'll get right on it. The lives of the innocent are in your hands, my dear. Yeah, it's wrong. 
but it feels so good too. This will shake her for a while. Sister Serena, could I see you here for a moment, please? What is that? Oh, my word. How on earth? I don't believe it. Section 12 of Bylaw 38B, Section C, clearly states that all areas for the packing of food must be kept separate from the areas of food consumption. I don't know how... Well, it can't be, but I, I never... This is a clear violation, and the penalty for violations is severe. Please, please, let me clean it up. I'll double-check everything. I don't want to go back to polishing candlesticks. Ha! Polishing! You should be so lucky. We are talking prison here. Prison? Holy Mother! Oh, do stop that ridiculous display. But I feel so guilty. And you are. However... Yes? If you ensure there's not a scrap of food remaining, I might overlook the matter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get right on it. The place has to be spotless. Of course, of course. Will you be okay looking round on your own? Well, I shall just have to be. Fantastic. Now I've got the run of the place. Thank you very much. It's a miniature bottle of red wine with a screw cap. Very classy. Just see into the mixing machine. Large blades are spinning and mixing a fresh batch of dough. I'm a naughty, 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 naughty head inspector. Now all I have to do is let it work its way through. I'm not going to stick my hand in there. I figure they aren't interested in new lines, especially not finger flavor. Now then, Sister Serena, the next batch is ready. I'm sure you appreciate perfection, Mr. Steiner. Oh, yes, but I barely witness it. Outside my own bailiwick, of course. Bailiwick? Bless you. Hmm. Well, here we go. The next batch of classic wings. The color of perfection? Uh, 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 but uh, how could this happen? Two little words, Sister Angelica. Sloppy maintenance. But that machine is cleaned every day. In this case, it would seem cleanliness is not next to godliness. I have no choice but to close this place down. Please, no. We have a large order to complete. Such a shame I was not made more welcome. Oh, Mr. Steiner, there must be something we can do. One so rarely hears the word sorry these days. Wouldn't you agree, sister? Sorry? Oh, I see. Mr. Steiner, I am very sorry for this terrible lapse. Hmm. Hmm. 
nervous feeling? Very, very sorry. Well, I suppose if you can fix it now, then I might overlook the issue. But it has to be spotless. <laughs> of course. You make yourself comfortable and we'll knuckle down to it. Locked. Sister Angelica's locked the door to her office. Maybe she doesn't trust me. the idea of climbing over it, not with those spikes. full of monks. You're not supposed to be here, guards! You're not supposed to be here, guards! Can I help it if I love shrub?
you. You can't come in here. Girls! You're not supposed to be here, guards! There's no way I'm going to be able to open those doors with a beam across. Grandpa Stobart's hernia made family history, and I'm not about to join him in the honors. The door is either very heavy or just locked. I'm sure it's the latter. Jackpot. Mmm, plush. I'm in the wrong business. Interesting taste in paintings, too. Wow, a copy of Poussin's The Ark of Ashdod. 
That's a painting I studied in comparative religions back in Idaho. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. He plagued them with tumors and their cities swarmed with rats. No wonder they gave the ark back to the Israelites. The rancid corpse of mother and child. Another child still alive watches on. Well, this is terrible. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy upon us and upon Dagon, our God. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us because his hand is heavy upon us and upon Dagon, our God. They placed the ark in Dagon's temple. The next morning, the people of Ashdod saw the statue of Dagon fallen on his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. I really didn't come here to read. It's a file with Anna Maria's name written on the front. you think you're doing? Office supplies, uh, routine follow-up. Uh, gotta make sure you got no problem with the drawers. What? Monsignor Devlin! Anyhow, uh, these look tip-top to me. Well done. Would you like to comment on our after-sales service? You called your eminence. Escort this gentleman to the street. I believe he is lost. Oh, uh, one last thing. What do you know about Anna Maria? What? Get him out of here now, and make sure that these doors are locked so this doesn't happen again. Ah, Father Gregor. His eminence, is he? A storm in a teacup, Father. Office supplies. Was that the best you could come up with? Stinks, huh? What are you now, a journalist? A lawyer. And your connection with this Anna Maria? I knew in New York some people were trying to kill her. Extraordinary. I know. The Mafia, would you believe? Anyhow, I heard she worked here. Tell him, Monsignor. Anna Maria was indeed part of our order. She worked here in the library. Two years ago, she stole some manuscripts and disappeared. And the scandal was kept out of the papers. Cardinal was furious. He vowed to find her and bring her to justice. His wrath is most terrible to behold. Yeah, most terrible, all right. We have always feared the worst, the poor misguided child. But there can be no place for scandal here, sir. Here, my card. Oh, but please, no publicity. I understand. Goodbye, Father. Monsignor, goodbye. So, I'm a little closer to knowing what's going on. And at least Anna Maria wasn't officially a nun when we, uh, the time to get back to Nico. Hey, Nico, I found out some things about Anna Maria. Really? Well, she's not a nun, at least not anymore. I had reached the same conclusion. It would be strange for a nun to have a shelf full of books on particle physics. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Oh, 
Oh, hello again. Settling in, are we? It's terrific, thank you. When in Rome, eh? Exactly. So, what can I do you for? Mark, can I ask you a few questions? Shoot from the hip, George. That seems to be your style. You said you had a package for Anna Maria. Do you want me to take it? You must think I'm mad. Why would I give you Anna Maria's post? She's letting us stay in her apartment. This letter is from the Vatican. They might be sensitive material in here. Are you sure you won't let me look after that package? I'm not going to open it. And does the devil have horns? Are you sure you won't let me look after that package? I'm not going to open it. And does the devil have horns? Have you seen Anna Maria since we last spoke? No, I haven't. But then she always kept herself to herself. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, Mark, did you manage to get your car clean? Oh, what a trial. Heavens. I don't know what those birds had eaten, but it smelt worse than Archie. And the mess. Oh, I never knew that shade of green existed. Thanks, soldier. Any time, dude. It's the card given to me by Father Gregor. Mark, I feel it's time I let you in on a little secret. Oh, George, I knew all along. Don't you worry now, you can tell Uncle Mark. I'm a member of the Vatican Internal Investigation Team working under the guise of Father Gregor. Here's my card. But you're American. That may be so, but I'm highly trained. Gosh. I need you to trust me. And help me. It's of the utmost importance. I'm working for the top, you understand. The top, Mark? You mean? Yep, I mean. The big enchilada. The very one. You want to be on his team, Mark? Oh, sign me up. I've trained all my life for this, believe me. Hello again. Hey, Mark. So, now you know that I'm a member of the Vatican Internal Investigation Team, may I take control of Anna Maria's package? Is she being investigated? That's classified, Mark. But if this is a sensitive Vatican parcel, it should remain in close proximity to me, for safety's sake. I understand. Here you are. Thank you, Mark. I have friends in high places who will know of your role in this. You don't mean... Very high places, Mark. In fact, the highest. Thanks, Mark. Anytime. A plain brown package with Anna Maria's name and address. Inside, there's just a plain DVD with no writing or message. Let's see if there's anything on this DVD. And finally, just when you thought diamonds were the ultimate gift, maybe it's time to rethink gold. No, not the kind of gold you put round your sweetheart's neck. We're talking monatomic gold. Let's go live now to Phoenix, Arizona to find out more. Susie, are you there? Bob, I'm here in the desert with Ronald Maynard, a truly remarkable man who's made a discovery which could transform mankind. So, what's the story, Mr. Maynard? What? Oh, right. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I, I've been interested in alchemical myths. You know those stories about turning base metal into gold? Why I became a chemist. So anyways, I was out here about three years ago looking for crystals when I found this powder white powder that was kind of, well, it didn't behave, you see, it, it should, I mean, it was gold, but it wasn't heavy, it was, it was light, so I did some experiments, and it was gold, but not like any gold that should exist, you could use it to fly, or to heal wounds, or project maybe into another universe, you see, the Egyptians wrote about it, the manna from heaven, remember, so anyhow, that's what I've got, and I've got a lab now that makes it, tons of it, and I want to give it to the world. 
Whoa, that's amazing. So, Mr. Maynard, you're just going to hand this wonderful substance over. A gift to mankind. What? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't say that. I'm going to sell it. To the highest bidder. What's wrong with you people? Damn reporters, you never you do your research. Ah, that is a shame. We seem to have lost our link there to Susie Balloon out there in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, until next week, be careful of yourself. Don't stop a show. So, we got a place in Phoenix where some wacko gold is being extracted. Why send this to Anna Maria? I think it's connected to her books, Georges. Geological Surveys of Phoenix, Manuals on Metal Extraction and Purification. So, Anna Maria flies to Phoenix a lot and is studying monatomic gold. I don't get it. I think the answer's in Phoenix, Georges. Do you think we should go there, to the lab? I'll go. And what if she's there? I'll give her your blessing. Sorry, Georges. Couldn't resist. I'll head straight off to the airport. What will you do? Look for clues, talk to people, I guess. Be careful. I'll be in touch. Wait. This plant in Phoenix might have high security. I'll flash you a cool hacking tool I use. I'm impressed. You've been going to night school. Gotta move with the times, Nico. So I see. Now, stay away from the nuns while I'm gone. Cheap gag, Nico. Bye. The thing's got few capabilities. Not much I can do with it. Hello again. Hey, Mark. So, Mark, I bet you'd love a picture of Lucy Chu just like this. Hmm. What I'm really after is something a little more personal. Something that says, I was meant for you. I've signed the photograph on the back. The message should be ambiguous enough. Hello again. Hey, Mark. I forgot to mention, Mark, that photo of Lucy Chu, it's signed. Wow, oh, that's amazing. She hardly ever signs anything. What does it say? To my biggest fan, may the heavens shine upon you for your support. Love, Lucy. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, I'm hot with envy. Oh, something like that would stand up proud as a centerpiece in my collection. Would you be willing to part with that photograph? Well, I don't know. I mean, it is signed. I don't have much. A pink pair of rubber gloves? Nice, but not really me, you know. How about a Shroud of Turin tea towel with real fraying? You know, Mark, they are so last Christmas. Okay, how about my talking bishop? Fits most steering wheels. In the event of a crash, it automatically delivers the last rites. I'll pass, thanks. Well, if you change your mind, you know where I am. You bet. I picked this pen up a while ago. Do you recognize the symbol? Hmm, that pen is from the Black Cat Massage Parlor in the Old Town. It's a, a club for the clergy from the Vatican. A club for clergy? Yes, a clergy club. Even priests need somewhere to wind down, you know. Oh, I get it. A winding down club. So, are you a member? Anyone who's anyone round here belongs to the Black Cat. 
So why would Anna Maria have one of their pens? How should I know? It's got a picture of a cat on it. Hello again. Hey, Mark. So you frequent the Black Cat, huh? After a grueling session with the choir, there's nothing I like better than to be laid out, oiled up, and softened all over. Yeah, I bet. So who else goes to this place? Ah, now that would be telling. And how do I find it? It's in the old town. Go down Chiasso delle Zingari. You can't miss it. Does the Black Cat only take members of the clergy? Not at all. But with so many visitors in town at the moment, they've been strict about accepting new members. You don't want a crowd when there's oil slopping around, huh? Exactly. And where would the clergy go? Thanks, Mark. Anytime. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Black Cat Massage Parlor. Chiasso della Zingari. Well, this is it, all right. Members only, capish? This club is exclusively for members, good, kind, religious folk. Membership's closed, okay? Oh, what a shame. I've heard the massages here are very special. I think you heard the wrong. This is a nice steam rooms for good, kind, quiet folk. This club is exclusively for members, good, kind, religious folk. This club is exclusively for members, good, kind, religious folk. Hello again. Hey, Mark. Hello again. Hey, Mark. So, Mark, I need to get into the Black Cat. I see. In need of a little stress relief, are we? Actually, it's internal affairs business. Of course, of course. I'll need your card to get in. But I can't do that. You take an oath at the club, never to lend your card. Betray the oath, and you're barred for life. But we're talking the security of the whole church here. Easy for you to say. You haven't had a massage at the Black Cat. Mark, is there nothing I can do to get your membership card? I'm sorry, George, but I just can't do it. I'd be betraying a trust. Mark, is there nothing I can do to get your membership card? I'm sorry, George, but I just can't do it. I'd be betraying a trust. Thanks, Mark. Anytime. So you think my Lucy Chu signed photo is a nice one, huh? Oh, George, you are a tease. Take it away, you naughty boy. Would you be willing to part with that photograph? Well, I don't know. I mean, it is signed. Okay. How about I give you, and I can't believe I'm doing this, my Black Cat membership card? Oh, I don't know, Mark. You could get into big trouble doing that. Trouble? <laughs> trouble is my middle name. Well, since you're such a huge fan of Lucy Chu, I'll do it. 
Oh, George, you don't know how happy you've made me. I think I can guess. Here you go, George, and thanks again. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Black Cat Massage Parlor. Admittance for members only, sir. All right, you can enter. Welcome to the Black Cat, Signor. Empty locker. Well, you just can't beat a nice nude. This is the work of Q Lele. Stunning. Get your own, senor. Well, aren't you in a hurry? Please change before going through, sir. Nice plants. You just can't beat plastic's timeless quality. Nice plants. There, that looks better. Looks like a hot water valve. If I turn the valve a little. Ah, oh, hot water at last. A bellissimo. Not this time. Time to change. <laughs> mm. Ah, that's better. I'll leave all my stuff in one of the lockers for the time being. My things should be safe in there till I need them again. This is a gentleman's club after all. Have one on me, senor. Oh, thanks. What a kind thought. A naked lady. The artist is... Caroline Dean. Beautiful. Well, you just can't beat a nice nude. Locked.
George, my old friend, how are you? Dwayne? My God, is that you? You know me, George, always in the thick of it. Dwayne. God, the first time I met Dwayne and his wife Pearl was in South America. Back then, he nursed this insane idea that he was in the CIA. <laughs> Things haven't changed. How's Pearl? Uh, blooming as always, George. In fact, you just reminded me. I've got to get her some Mozart Kugeln before I go home. Mozart Kugeln? Right now. I'm in Salzburg. You know what I mean? What are you really doing here? I'm uh, just following the gold, George. Rumor is someone else is out there doing the same. Hmm, maybe that's me. It could be you. Could be a foreign power. Could be my friends over at Langley. I thought you were Langley. Langley? Moi? You gotta move with the times, George. Move with the times. Tell me about this place. It gives discount to priests. And that's you these days, is it? Heck, if it gets me air miles, I'll join anything. Is this place owned by the Mafia? Yep, run by a fella named Spalacci. Spalacci? Here? He's not a guy you want to mess with. Yeah, I've seen him at work. What else do you know about Spalacci? He's got the ear of the Vatican. Don't tell me they want it back. Yeah, that's funny. I'm funny's good, George, but not with this guy. So, Spalacci is head of the whole operation? Hey, he's got something big running. Is that what brought you? Oh, I'm just here for the massage, George. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. That's the madman who stole my towel. Well, George, time for me to disappear. Well, well, well. So who do we have here? An uh, emergency plumber. Where's the girl? Girl? What girl? Anna Maria. You should know. You kidnapped her. I see. What about the money? What money? The large sum of money. You're asking the wrong guy. Mr. Stobart. Please answer my questions. It will make everything so much less painful in the end. Senior Spalacci, sir. We got a girl. You mean the girl? No, sir. I don't think so. This one's different. And she's called... Hey, lady! What's your name? Nico. Nico Collard. Nico? Hey! Nico! It's me, George! She still won't talk, Mr. Spalacci, sir. How very tiresome. What shall I do with her, Mr. Spalacci? This Nico, what does she know? Nothing. She's just a journalist, I promise you. Mr. Spalacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. Stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your... <sighs> I didn't actually mean... Nico! Oh, my head. Where am I? Nico. Oh, my God, what did I do? I feel like I've been here for hours. That's not quite right. I've cleared that for you, sir. Keep the stick, sir. floor is slippery, and now I can slide on it.
I wonder what he's doing in there. Free. Now, how do I get out of here? That's Spalacci. Who's he talking to? The American met Anna Maria, but doesn't know where she went. What about the girl? She was just a journalist. Knows nothing. Knew nothing, I should say. These... Uh... Accidents are inevitable. Time is running out. It is imperative you find Anna Maria. As you wish. Will you be staying? We have one or two interesting specials on the menu today. My god, that's Cardinal Ginelli. The Vatican is in league with the Mafia? Thank you, my friend. But in these circumstances, I think perhaps not uh, appropriate. Of course, Your Eminence. I shall lock up then. And if Anna Maria is not being held by the Mafia, then where the hell is she? Aha! Down here in the drain, George. Dwayne? Is that you? Hi, George. Thought you might need a bit of help up there. Hey, Dwayne. Uh, why are you down the drain? You know me, George. Always in the thick of it. Dwayne? They killed Nico. Ah, shoot. I'm real sorry to hear that, George. You better get yourself out of harm's way. Don't do anything rash now. Does Pearl know you play around in sewers, Dwayne? Hey, there's a lot Pearl doesn't know about me, George. And it's gonna stay that way. I got you a key to the laundry room. You can get out that way, only... Yeah? I can't get my hand through to give it to you. Any ideas? Finally, I can get dressed again. Great. I've got all my things again. Locked. Please change before going through, sir. Huh. 
You still there, Dwayne? Yeah, George. I got you a key to the laundry room. You can get out that way, only... Yeah? I can't get my hand through to give it to you. Any ideas? No way am I doing that. The rosary would fit, but it doesn't have anything to attach a key to. The rosary's now got a clip attached. George, I'll attach the key. Now, I'd better scoot. Look after yourself, George. Thanks, Dwayne. gonna do that. Dwayne's attached the key. Fantastic. I've got no reason to try that. Another door. Personnel only. Washing machine. Must do a lot of washing in this little club. Nico's dead. I need a drink. Or two. And if one green bottle should accidentally fa fall, there'll be no green bottles banging on the wall. <laughs> well, George. And there's me thinking you were a quiet one. Now, why aren't I dead yet? Oh, for pity's sake, finish me off. When you're back to your usual self, you'll be pleased to know the gas men have fixed the leak in Anna Maria's apartment. Terrific! Leave the oven door open, I'll be right up. It must be off. Hang on. Anna Maria doesn't have gas in her apartment. It's all electric. Then what do they want? It looks like they've left us a present. Oh my god! Is that what I think it is? Well, if you're thinking it's a crudely constructed bomb that could blow the whole block of the kingdom come, then you'd be right. If we leave it alone, maybe it won't go off. Mm, I wish that were the case, but that little timer on top tells me different. Mark, we need to defuse it. We? What do you mean, we? Mm, looks like we've got ten minutes. But do you know what to do? No, but I'm sure the military will have something like this on their database. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. 
Yeah, call them too if you think they can help.
<laughs> I am not gonna do that. Hey, Mark. I need your help. You got it, George. It's gonna be dangerous. Bring it on. You're not scared? I believe in the eternal afterlife, George. Why should I possibly be scared? Hmm. Good point. Mark, can you defuse a bomb? Well, let me see. No. Good. That makes two of us. Do you think I should be scared, George? Don't worry. I'll be scared for both of us. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Hey, Mark. I need your help. You got it, George. It's gonna be dangerous. Bring it on. You're not scared? I believe in the eternal afterlife, George. Why should I possibly be scared? Hmm. Good point. Mark, I need your rubber gloves. George, this is no time for cleaning. We need to defuse that thing. The military field notes say that static 
can trigger a bomb. I need to wear some non-conductive gloves, and rubber will be brilliant. Well, why didn't you say? Here, they go with your eyes. Uh, yeah, thanks, I think. Paper clip attaches to the negative wire going into the trigger box. Which other wire should I bridge with the paper clip? Let's try this out. Maybe it'll work. Well, the bomb didn't go off. That's the first part done. Now, to cut the right wire. Well, here goes. Mark! Mark, I did it! We saved the building! I never doubted it for a moment, George. I think I'll take this for safekeeping. Oh no! They're back! Well, if they are, they'll be sorry they came back so soon. Right. You take the... Well, hello, boys. What's this? Playtime? Hmm, Georges, nice gloves. Georges? Georges, what's the matter? Georges! But... You're dead. Dead tired, that's for sure. But... I heard the shot. You screamed. I assume... Never assume anything when it comes to me, Georges. You should know that. You could have at least called me. My phone got zapped. It's useless. Maybe you better tell me what happened. Well, I had a nice flight, caught some great movies. And by the time I reached Phoenix, I was sure I was going to find something big. Why don't you tell me about it? Where is everyone? If they once made monatomic gold here, they certainly don't anymore. The place has been blown up. And recently, 